Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Um, I have the flu, but I'm okay. Thanks. How was your day? Ah, uh, very tired. Very tired. Uh, did you did you do some activities or several activities? Hizo varias actividades este día. Es algo pesado el trabajo, la verdad. Okay. Todos los días es igual. Okay, every day is the same. Okay, I understood, but it's good that you are here in, in, the, in the English class. It's excellent. Mm, yes. Yes, what about Claudia Garcia? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? Um, I have the flu, but I'm okay. I don't have fever. And it's important, only flu. I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> it's okay, only flu, no yes. fever. Yeah, not fever, only flu. I hope, but, I hope uh, you feel better. Thanks a lot. Okay, tomorrow we will, or we going to talk about illnesses or about diseases. Mañana vamos a hablar acerca de las enfermedades and about some medic medications. Mañana vamos a tener una clase muy bonita también, right? How are you, Elio? Fine, Elio, teacher. are you okay? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. And Jocelyn. What about you, Jocelyn? How are you? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Mm. Are you okay? It's okay. Okay, excellent. Now, did you remember what was our class yesterday? Or our yesterday's class? Did you remember? ¿De qué hablamos ayer en la clase? Tell me. Preposition of time. Preposition of time. Yes. Can you tell me something about the preposition of time? When I use at? At, in, on, in. When. When I use at, ¿cuándo usamos at? En when I use in, when I use, we use on. Did you remember uh, that um, we saw at, in, and on? Um, tiempo at, puntual. In, at in, in, the, in the precise time, right? At. Yes. Can you tell me one example? At three o'clock. At three o'clock. Excellent. Now, what about about in? When I use in? To month. To what? Months. For months. Months. Years. Month and years. Years. For month. What else? Month. What else? ¿Por qué, ¿Para qué más? Try years. to remember. Years. Stations. Periodos For largos. Long, long period. Long period. Centuries. Long period. Centuries. <laughs> We use at for precise time. As an example, I have a meeting at 9 a.m. 
we use in for months, years, centuries, and long periods. As an example, my birthday is in February. Claudia, when is your first when is your birthday? My birthday is in April. In April. Uh, now tell me with another way. Me. Using on. When is your birthday? My birthday is my birthday is on uh, April first. Fourth. Excellent. Nice. Now we saw about when is Mother Day, when is New Year's Day, when is Valentine, when is Valentine's Day. Did you remember that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah. we saw something about the future with be going to. What is the meaning of going to? Going to is ir a o van. Uh, when I use going to, ¿cuándo lo usamos? Cuando es un futuro cercano. Excellent. When is a near future, un futuro cercano. We use going to. ¿Cuál le dije que era la clave para eh, interpretar o para traducir? Ver el verbo que va después del going to, right? As, as this example, are you going to do anything this weekend? Are you going to do anything this weekend? What is the meaning of this question? ¿Qué vas a hacer o vas a hacer algo o algo así para el fin de semana? Yes. O puede ser también... ¿Harás algo este fin de semana? ¿O harás alguna cosa o algo este fin de semana? Because the verb that continue going to is do. And do it means hacer in Spanish. Do significa hacer. And then, we saw always a verb that is after that go, going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Where is the answer? What is the answer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am is the short answer. And I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Celebraré mi cumpleaños. O estaré celebrando mi cumpleaños, right? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. What is the meaning of this sentence? I'm going to stay home. Yo estaré en casa. Yo estaré en casa. Estaré en casa. Yo estaré en casa. Right. Second one. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Recuerden que cuando es pregunta siempre va a ir el verbo to be primero. Right. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? What is the meaning of this question? Sí, um, Kayla tendrá una fiesta contigo. Yes, more opinions. More opinions. ¿Quién más? What is the meaning of Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Kayla hará una fiesta para ti. Kayla va a tener una fiesta para ti. O Keila va a tener, ¿verdad? Porque sabes tener. Keila va a tener una fiesta para ti, o una fiesta para usted, o una fiesta para ustedes. O si no, puede decir también como está Elis, y Elis es el verbo to be que significa ser o estar. Entonces podríamos decir también, ¿estará Keila teniendo una fiesta para, para usted? También podríamos traducirlo de esa manera. Yes, she is. Is the short, the short answer? And no, she isn't. In yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. What is the meaning? 
She's going to invite all my friends. Repeat, please. Ella invitará a todos mis amigos. Ella va a invitar a todos mis amigos. She's going to invite because, uh, because after going to, there is the invite as a verb. Es el verbo, invite all my friends. Ella invitará a todos mis amigos. And no, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. She's going to take me out for dinner. What is the meaning of this sentence? Can you tell me, please? Para mí sería, ella me llevará a comer afuera. Yes, more opinions. More opinions. Take significa que... llevar. Tomar. Uh, yeah, eh, take significa tomar, pero también significa llevar. No, ella me llevará a cenar afuera. Ella me llevará a cenar. Yes, y también out significa fuera. También podríamos decir, ella me llevará a cenar fuera. Las dos son válidas. She's going to take me out for dinner. Me llevará a cenar fuera para cenar. Me llevará a cenar fuera. También podría ser, right? Now, can someone help me to read this question? Volunteer? Read this question, please. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Are the waiters going to sing to you? What is the answer? Can someone read the answer, please? The short answer. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And in negative? No, they aren't. they aren't. No, they aren't. Now, yes, they are. Can you help me please read this sentence? Who help me? They are going to sing happy birthday. They are going to sing happy birthday. What is the meaning of this sentence? They are going to sing happy birthday. Ellos me cantarán el feliz cumpleaños. Yes. More opinions? More opinions? Ellos cantarán el happy birthday. Yes. Ellos, Ellos cantarán, cantarán feliz, cumpleaños. feliz cumpleaños. Miren qué bonito. Mm -hmm. Now, in negative. No, they aren't, but... They are going to give me a cake. No, they aren't, but they are, they are going to give me a cake. What is the meaning, the meaning of this sentence? But they are going to give me a cake. No, pero ellos me darán cake. Pero ellos me traerán un pastel o un cake. Yes, ellos me darán, me darán, un cake. Yes. Ellos no van a no van a cantarle, pero le van a dar un cake. Right? Is clear? Or do you have any question for this for the future with be going to? Is clear for the moment? Yes. Okay. Now. Eso lo vimos ayer. Do you remember? The grammar explanation. Yes. Ok. El día de ayer decíamos que la fórmula es first subject, verb to be, going to, verb plus complement. Primero el sujeto, luego el verbo to be, el going to, luego el verbo y el complement. Now. 
Pay attention to this conversation. This conversation is called Happy Birthday. Aquí vamos a ver eh, las preguntas que acabamos de repasar. Please pay attention and at the same time read the information, please. Now is happy birthday. Eleven. What are you? Page seventy-two. Ex birthday. Listen and practice. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August ninth. Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing Happy Birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay. Now, I need two volunteers. Volunteers. Only two. Me, Claudia. Claudia. Thanks, Claudia. And I need a, a man, volunteer man. Cesar Eduardo. Thanks, Cesar Eduardo, for your participation. Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. Now, eh, Angie is Claudia and Cesar is Philip. Okay, start now. Please read the information. Cesar, are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August night Sunday. So what are your plans? Well, my friend Kyla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. And the waiter, waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, thanks for your participation. Now, do you have any question for these informations about vocabulary and if there are any uh, any word that is new for you are there any word that is new for you Hay uh, alguna? It's embarrassing it's so embarrassing y es vergonzoso dice a él le da pena que le canten el happy birthday is the same when you when you go to the Pizza Hut and it's your birthday and you enjoy with yes. your family. And they, the, the employees, the Pizza Hut, start, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. And then the, the, the person uh, or the... That, the that is true. It's so embarrassing. Yes, it's so embarrassing. Yeah. Eso es, es vergonzoso para él. Le, dio, le da pena, pero así le, le iban a cantar, right? Now, another? La familia lo disfruta. Yes, yes. Another? What is the meaning of this one? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? What is the meaning? Hará algo interesante este fin de semana? Yes. O hará algo emocionante o, o sí. Oh, interesante. Este fin de semana. What is the answer? Well, what is the meaning of well? Bien. Bien. Dice, bien. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Bien, dice. Estaré celebrando mi cumpleaños o celebraré mi cumpleaños. Teacher. Tell me. Well solo significa bien o puede significar bueno. Bien. Oh, okay. Bien, sí. En este caso es bien. Dice uno bien como para iniciar. Iniciar a algo, ¿verdad? Si hacen una pregunta, ah, bien. Tal y tal cosa. Entonces es como que dice bien. Es para como una introducción para lo que va 
continuar diciendo. Y cuando se dice very well, then Entonces, in... es, en saludo sí es diferente. Ah. Yes, en saludo, ahí dice muy bien, pero siempre mm. significa bien, very well. El very significa muy y o well significa bien. Dice very well, muy bien. It's the same, the meaning, el mismo significado. Now, fabulous. What is the meaning of fabulous? Fabuloso. Fabuloso. <laughs> Fabuloso. When is your birthday exactly? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños exactamente? It's what? Os. Agosto 8. Oh, was nine, nueve. nueve. Yes, Sunday. It's always nine, Sunday. Es el nueve de agosto, el domingo nueve de agosto. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now, so, what are your plans? What is the meaning of plans? Planes. Planes. So, dice, el so puede significar, eh, por lo tanto... O puede decir, ah, igual sirve para hacer un, un, es como una introducción, así como el well, el so. Entonces, también significa entonces. En este caso puede significar entonces. Dice, so, what are your plans? Entonces, ¿cuáles son tus planes? So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kylie is going to take me out for dinner. What is the meaning of my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner? Eso acabamos mm -hmm. de verlo, right? Mi amiga Kayla me llevará a cenar. Me llevará afuera a cenar. Nice. Is, is yeah. she going to order a cake? Okay. What is the meaning? Is she going to yeah. order a cake? Ordenará ella un pastel. Yeah. Ordenará un pastel. Yeah. And the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday. Probably, what is the meaning of probably? Probablemente. Probablemente, o sea, no es seguro, pero, pero si le cantan, va a estar, se va a sentir achicado el pobrecito, right? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> Por si acaso le cantan. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any questions for this conversation? No. No, teacher. Okay, now. This is our first. This is our first exercise. And. Okay, let me see. Ahora voy a bajarlo un poquitín. Give me a second. This is an exercise. And, and said, imagine that is in January 1st. That is January 1st. How old are these people going to be on, the, on their next birthdays? Again, imagine that it's January 1st. How old are these people going to be on their next, on their next birthday? What is the meaning? Imagínese que sí, es... Es el primero de enero. El primero Cuando de sal, enero. Uh -huh. Estas personas tendrán... En su próximo cumpleaños. Yes. ¿Qué edad tendrán estas personas en su próximo cumpleaños? This is, here we have an example about Alex. Now, Alex is going to be 76 on March 15. Es now en birthday, es now 76. 
and his birthday is on March 15th. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now, ¿qué quiero decir aquí en, de, en esta oración? ¿Cómo digo yo voy a cumplir años? En diferentes fechas, ¿cómo digo? My birthday. Ya. Yeah. Um. Vale. Vamos a hacer, porque eso lo vamos a hacer al final. Vamos a hacer ahorita el de Anita. ¿Cómo sería la oración de Anita? Write in your, note, in your notebook, please. Escriban en su, en su cuaderno la oración para Anita, la oración para Peggy and Pat, en one sentence for you. You have only four minutes. Four minutes. Cuatro minutos. Sigan el ejemplo. Alex is going to be 76 on March 15. Teacher, tell me. Una pregunta. Ya. Yeah. Ahí se está refiriendo a que cuántos años tendría cumpliendo ese mismo año, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero si, si Alex tiene 76 años, abajo no sería 77. 77, sí. Pero en este caso, aquí como que lo han puesto un poquito mal, fíjense, porque sí tiene razón. Sería porque esa es la edad actual, ¿verdad? Sí, sería 77. Entonces acá pongámosle que Anita va a cumplir 26, porque tiene 25. Y aquí Peggy y Pat van a cumplir 19. Ok, hagámoslo con esa, con la fecha correcta. Aquí dice que Alex cumplirá 76 el 15 de marzo. Going to be es cumplirá. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. You have only one minute.
Okay. The time is over. Now, help me with number two. What about Anita? Can you tell me the sentence? How old Anita is going to be on the to be 26 on July uh, 27. Repeat, Rosie, please. Anita? Anita is going to be 26 on July 27th. Seven. Excellent. ¿Así lo tienen? Yes. Yes. Yes, también. Ok, aquí lo vamos a poner. Anita is going to be going to be what? 26. 26. 26. 26. What else? Mm -hmm. 26 on July 27th, 26 on July 26 on July 27. 27th. Yes? Yes. Now, second one. Next one. Peggy and Patty. Peggy and Pat and, and Patty. Pat or Patty. Uh, Patty. Yes, Peggy and Patty. Are going to be. Peggy and Patty are going to be. On 19, 19, 19, how many years? 19, 19, 19, 19 on, on September 6, September 6, 6, con uh, <laughs> <six>. okay, <laughs> on September 6. Excellent. Now, next one. What about you? Uh, I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Here before. <laughs> Um, let me see. I'm going to be 64. 50, uh, 13. 34. 34. 34. What else? On November. November. Fifteenth. Yeah. More volunteers about about you. More volunteers. I'm going to twenty five on October nineteen. I'm going to be. 25. 25. On October 19th. On October 19th. 19th. Right? It's Another? Okay. It's okay. Another? ¿Cómo estoy diciendo aquí? I'm going to be. Going to be. Voy a cumplir. I'm going to be, voy a cumplir años, 
el 25. el 19 de octubre voy a cumplir así se dice en inglés going to be voy a cumplir going to be yes now another volunteer please i'm going to be i'm going to be uh, 34 34 on march 23 on march 23 como era el 3 third third RD. Me movía que yo. Oh. Ay, habemos gemelos de cumpleaños. Ahí le vamos a cantar, pero que no se sientan so embarrassing. Siempre da pena, teacher. Y si no hay a uno que hacer. Aunque sea la familia de uno, no hay para dónde ir. Uno, uno solo así, ¿verdad? No, para que no sienta pena, bailen también. Le, les canta, entonces ustedes bailen, ve y se le baila la pena. <risa> Char, pero ¿quién? No, no vi quién es mi gemelo, solo oí la voz, pero no Elio. Ah. Elio is your, your twins. <risa> twins is means, gemelos, twins. Gemelos. Ok. Now, another volunteer, the last volunteer, el último. Janet, are you there? No. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. I am going to be 44. I'm going to be 44. 44. Yeah. On July 23rd. On July? 23rd. 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 Excellent. Now, is clear? Is it clear now? Está claro? ¿Cómo voy a yes, decir? Teacher. Voy a cumplir tantos años, ¿verdad? Y la fecha. I'm going to be 44 on July 33. I'm going to be, voy a cumplir, ¿ya? Yeah? Now, another exercise. Read Anne's calendar. Write sentences about her plans. Use the words in parentheses. This is our first example. June 22nd. What about... What happened in your 22nd? If you see the calendar, here is second. She, she's going to play golf after work. ¿Lo alcanzan a ver o no está muy pequeñita la letra? Pequeña. Un, un pequeña, señor. Ok, let me see. Voy a ponerlo más. Ok, now. Aquí dice play golf after work. And then, in our first example, said on June 2nd, June 2nd, she's going to play golf after work. She's going to play golf after work. Aquí en el 2 dice play golf after work. What is the meaning? Que ella va a jugar, irá a jugar golf después del trabajo. Excelente. Now, what happened in June 3rd? June 3rd. Have lunch with Tony. Have lunch with Tony. And then, what is the answer? What is the, the sentence? Sentence. Yes. On June 3rd, she's going to have lunch with Tony. Can you repeat, please? In June 3rd? On June 3rd, she's going third? to 
um, to have no she's going to have lunch with Tony excellent on June 3rd she's going to have lunch with Tony ella tendrá un almuerzo con Tony yes what about number three on June 7th June 7th June 7th said go shopping with Yuli what is the sentence it's interesting <laughs> okay <Muy> <laughs> can you tell me the sentence Yuli no no good why? <laughs> Which are you ever? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what is the sentence? On John 7? Seven? Going to going to go shopping. She's going to she's going to go. Yes. Shopping with Julie. Excellent. On June 7th, she's going to go shopping with Yuli. Now, what about June 8th? This is the last one. What about June 8th? Meet John for dinner. On June 8th. On June 8th. I'm going to. She's going. She's, she's going, to going to. Meet. Meet. Ay, no veo, teacher. John for dinner. John for dinner. For dinner, yes. Sí, estoy viendo la rosa que... de Guadalupe. <ríe> sí, tiene interferencia. <ríe> ok, dice que el 8 de junio, she's going to meet John for dinner. Ella se encontrará con John para cenar. Maybe it's a, an appointment, a romantic appointment. Una cita romántica, maybe. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now. Did you like the exercise? Yes. Le yes. gustó el ejercicio? Yes. Yes, it's to practice. To practice she's going, going to. Now. Ay, voy a quitar esto, gemelos, twins. Now. This is another important thing. That is pronunciations, reductions of going to. If you pay attention to any song that use this word, si ustedes ponen atención a alguna canción que use este el going to, lo van a escuchar como gonna, gonna. Porque ahí se reducen ambos, el going y el to. Entonces se escucha como que dice gonna. Inclusive a veces en algunas letras le ponen gonna. No le ponen going to, sino que gonna. Si ustedes vieran esa palabra, es la misma, going to, reducido. Now, like this example, let me see. Reduction of going to. Le voy a poner el audio and pay attention, read and listen at the same time. Going to. Are you going to have a party? No, I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Yeah. Are you going are you gonna to have a party? Dice, are you gonna have a party? ¿Le escucharon bien o se los pongo de nuevo? Repeat, repeat. Repeat, ok. 
Pongan atención donde dice going to. No va a decir going to, sino que va a decir gonna. Ok. Going to. Are you going to have a party? No. I'm going to go out with a friend. Are you going to go to a restaurant? Yes. We're going to go to Nick's Cafe. ¿Ya? Yeah? Dice, are you going to have a party? No. I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out with our friends. Luego dice, are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're gonna go to Nick's Cafe. Again, listen again. Going to. Are you gonna have a party? No, I'm gonna go out with a friend. Are you gonna go to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to go to Nick's Cafe. Yeah? Gonna, please repeat after me. Gonna. 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 Going to. Gonna. Going, Going to. to. Gonna. 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 Ok. El gonna es el reducido. Now. Pero, teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Gonna eh, solo se puede como leer, pero... Para hacerlo más rápido, pero al momento de escribir no vamos a poner gonna, ¿o sí? No, al momento Porque de escribir, sí, al momento de escribir lo podemos con... poner completo. Y cuando lo leamos, podríamos leerlo como gonna. O para hablarlo, lo decimos como gonna, para hacerlo más rápido. Pero a manera de escritura tiene que ir así, going to. Okay. En algunos casos, si es algo informal, también lo podría escribir como gonna. Pero en algo formal va completo, going to. Right? Okay. Now, this, are you go, are you gonna have a party? What is the meaning? Tendrá una fiesta? Sí. Yes, tendrá, tendrá una fiesta? No, I'm gonna go out with our friends, with a friends. What is the meaning? No, voy a salir con mis amigos. Voy a salir con mis amigos. Are you going to are you gonna go to a restaurant? Sí, irás a un restaurante. Irás a un restaurante? Yes. We are gonna go to Nick's Cafe. ¿Iremos? Dice que sí, que irán, iremos a Nick's Cafe. Nick's Cafe. Iremos a Nick's Cafe, al café Nick's de Nick. Yeah. Now. Let's continue with vocabulary holidays in the US. Now I ask you, what is the meaning of holidays? What is the Vac meaning of holidays for you? Vacaciones o feriados. Yes, it means día festivos. Son los días festivos, todos los días festivos del año. And here we have holidays in the U.S., in the United States. New Year's Day. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Independence Day. Halloween. Thanksgiving. And Christmas. This is the, the most common holidays in the U.S. Now, today New Year's is holiday. Day. What? Repeat, please. Today is holiday. Ah, yes, it's a holiday today. Yes. Yeah, the Dia de la Raza, right? Yeah. Now. Ne New Year's Day. It takes place on January 1st in the United States. El día de Año Nuevo, January 1st. What about Valentine's Day? When February, is Valentine's Day? February 4th. It's on February 4th. 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 What about Independence Day? When is Independence Day in the United in States? July 4th. July 4th. 
Excellent. Now, when is Halloween in the U.S.? It's October. On October. On October 23rd. 31st. 31st. Miren, termina con la ST. First. Con ST, first. Now, when is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving Day in the US. Fourth Thursday uh, in November. Yes, fourth Thursday in November. And the last one. When is Christmas in the US? Hi, second teacher. Okay. <laughs> When is Christmas in the U.S.? December 25th. It's on December 25th. 5th. Or 25th. Yeah? Or 25th. 25th, ¿verdad? Porque estamos viéndolo con, la, con los dates. Okay. Excellent. Now. Questions about holidays. Do you celebrate any of these holidays? The question is to you. Do you celebrate any of these holidays? Can you tell yes. me? Yes, yes I do. Yes. How do you celebrate them? For example, uh, can you tell me one holiday that you celebrate? Christmas. Christmas. 25th. My mother day. day. Mother's Day. Father Day. Mother's Day. Father Day. Father's Day. Independence what Day. Independence Day. What else? Difuntos. Excuse me? Difuntos. Difuntos. Podría yeah. ser Death, Death Day. Ya se lo voy a averiguar, pero sería Death. Death es, es muerte. Death date. Semana okay. Santa, no sé cómo se dice, teacher. Holy week. Okay. Holy week. Semana Santa. Now, how do you celebrate them? ¿Cómo lo celebra? For example, how do you celebrate Mother's Day? Mother's Day. Okay. How do you celebrate? ¿Cómo lo celebra? Can you tell me? ¿Cómo celebran el Día de la Madre? El dinner food. Eh, Rose. Dinner food, what else? Buy the flowers. Buy flowers. What else? Cook the dinner. Give, give kisses, or... kisses and house to your mom. House and kisses to my mom, for example. Yes. For example, I give how and kisses to my mom. Doy abrazos y besos a mi madre. Right? What else? ¿Qué más hacen el día de la mamá? Give presents. Reunión. Give presents to her. Darle regalos. What else? Los chicos. ¿Qué le hacen a su mamá?
usted, Ger. Congratulations. Felicitaciones. Darle sus felicitaciones. Reunión familiar. Familiar meeting. Now, how do you celebrate Christmas? Or how do you celebrate Holy Week? Can you tell me? ¿Cómo celebra la Semana Santa? Hacemos pan. Repeat, please. Hacemos pan, pero en español. Hacer pan. Sí. And then cook bread. Any bread. Hey. Algún pan. Bread. <coughs> Sorry. Cook any bread. What else? Go to the church. Go to, ah, me la quitó, <laughs> Go to church. Van a la iglesia. <laughs> Go to church. También se vale. <laughs> and pray to God. Go to play. Go pray to God. Beach. Orar a Dios o rezar a Dios. What else? Go to beach. Ah, sí. yes. Go to the beach. Hay Go gente the... que se agarra para andar paseando, menos para ir a la iglesia, ¿no? Right? Sí. <laughs> don Elio, ya se delató Don Elio. <laughs> Now, some people go to the park. Yes or no? Yes. And some yeah. people spend the time <clears throat> with your relatives. With Your relatives. Dice que gastan su tiempo con sus familiares o permanecen con sus familiares. Eso quiere decir, spend the time with your relatives. Pasan con su familia. Right? In vacations. Now, what are some holidays in your country? What's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holidays? César? Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you tell me what's your favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Can you tell me why? Uh, porque nos reunimos con la familia. Yes. I, I... Christmas. Yes. And thanks, Cesar. What about you, Elio? What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas too. What about yeah. Edwin? What's your favorite holiday? Um, my favorite holiday is holiday is um Christmas too um Holy Week. In Holy Week. Okay. What about Aixia? Are you there? No. Janet, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. What's your favorite holiday, Janet? Christmas, too. Christmas. Okay. And what's your favorite holiday, Jessica? Um, Christmas and Monday. Mondays, a ah, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. No, Mother's Day. The same, Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Okay, another Father's Day, Independence Day. Did you like it? Do you like it? Do you like Independence Day? Es que solo es un día de asueto. Yes. Son varios y las agostinas son varias. <laughs> yes, it's yes, true. Yes. It's true. But what do you do on Independence Day? What do you do? ¿Qué hacen? What do you do on Independence Day? Watch TV, TV in the home. Ajá. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Watch TV, what else? 
Do you go to the to the parades? Van a los desfiles? I am, yes, I am going to view cachiporras. Ah. Do you like cachiporras? Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they are beautiful. Okay. What some what's your favorite holidays or what are some holidays in your country? What else? ¿Cuáles son otros otros eh, días festivos en nuestro país? <coughs> Aquí en Santa Ana la fiesta Julia. La el fiesta Julia. La ganadera. Ah, el día del trabajo también. Y el trabajo. Yes. Work day. El día del niño. Día de la niña. Ah, excelente. What else? Axel Sempo Today, Día de la Raza. Día de la Cruz. Día de la Cruz. We have another, another holiday in our Valentine, country, right? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Vaya, ¿y en ese qué hacen? What do you do on Valentine's Day? Please tell me. pregunta eso? Because, because it's an important <laughs> date. It's an important and, and beautiful <laughs> day. Yes. <laughs> Sí, sí. Go to sí. go to the restaurant, to the Finucci's restaurant. Finucci. <laughs> Teacher's yeah. day. Teacher's day. Oh. Yes. Teacher's day. Valentine's day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy Valentine's day? Try to remember that is is the friendship day too, yeah. In love, in love too. También el día de los amigos, right? And then yeah. sometimes we we enjoy with our family when we enjoy with our friends. Yeah, it's a nice mm -hmm. day. Yeah or no? Yes. yes, it is. Now. This is the, the end of our, our class. And tomorrow we will continue with W questions with B going to for tomorrow. And we do some exercises too. Y vamos a ver también mañana, aparte de este tema, también vamos a ver las partes del cuerpo. Como decimos manos, como decimos Nuestros pies, nuestros dientes, ¿ya? Yeah? Tomorrow. And then, I hope for you tomorrow, right? And thanks for coming and have a nice night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you.